Walsh's five. Well, he's got plenty of room. And he'll get a first down and wisely runs out of bounds at the 39-yard line. He's got the edge if he wants it. And Bryant Moniz doing more damage with his feet than with his arm right now. He knows where he's going, and they do the penalty as well. And got it to rattle around. Here comes the pressure. Good timing. That's what you mean by timing right there. And Moniz, a little tricky ball work, able to make a nice fake that time. And Moniz again, burning with his legs. He will score! A little pressure from the edge, Moniz. Handles it calmly. Catch made by Alan Sampson. And that's going to be a first down and the ability to hang on to the football there under a lot of pressure. There's the pressure. Nice job. And there's Moniz again. Just destroying Colorado with his running ability. And there's an opportunity here. The 15 out of the 14, Billy Ray Stutzman. 8 of 28. Option. Well, why not? Look at this. He's done it again. <laughs> Pressure. Hanson hangs in there. The end zone. Touchdown. Tyler Hansen to Paul Richardson. And we will see how Hawaii respond with Sampson on the kickoff return. And there's a hole. Sampson to the 40. And he will take it into Colorado territory. That is how you respond. The head coach. In the middle of the field. And it's going to be a first down. For UH, Ostrowski, the wide receiver, running right down the middle, picks up 13. Stepping up, Moniz. That's going to be underneath, and they get another first down. That's the Hawaii Classic passing, and they do a lot of underneath throws. A lot of pressure. Boy, Colorado is all over, but look at this. Look at the footwork for Moniz as he gets inside the 15, tackled at the 13. That's a gain of six, second and four coming up. Underneath, wide open. Inside the 10, first down. Straight ahead. A little footwork for the big fella there. And Yosefa down at the one yard line. They fake it. Well, he's, you know, why not? It's wide open. Three rushing touchdowns. Pressure. Look out here to the end zone. Richardson again for the touchdown. Timeout. University of Hawaii. This is Hawaii's first charge timeout of the second half. He's got the entire team around him, David. Absolutely. And that's why he called the timeout. He's getting their attention. And I tell you what, CU's showing a little mental toughness themselves. A fine way to get the ball in the end zone. And that's exactly what head coach McMacken is telling his guys right now. Hey, time to batten down the hatches, boys. We've got to play our style of football. You cannot let up. I think he wants to take another timeout. He does. The side judge came over and said, Coach, wrap it up. He's taking another timeout. He is not done. He this is making them take a knee. Boy, oh boy. I mentioned earlier that he had to crack the disciplinary whip and suspend two players for who were charged with misdemeanor assault. This kid can dip and run to the quarterback. Look, he finishes it too. Fumble, 
And, you know, Coach Mack, he, he, that's not going to make him very happy. And of the high snap, and no problem. The freshman is cool. It didn't work. Boy, what effort there. Well, Hanson got away but couldn't completely escape. Back to the five-yard line. What a job by the Warriors on the D-line. And, and, and he just raves about Brian Moniz's ability as an athlete to do things that are special. Well, how about a special first down? To keep it on the ground. And now an opening there to the 25-yard line, shy of the first down. Third down and one coming up. First down. No problem. There's that pressure again. A shovel pass. Beautifully done. And Hawaii will score. Intercepted and a chance for a touchdown. Hawaii has blown it open. Art Laurel. Now here's Tyler Haddon. He is supposed to be the long field goal kicker of 40 and more. Well, you can tell that he got the call from the special teams coach Dick Homey for this 22 yarder, and he has done his job. Well, you're trying to make a tackle. You got to try to make it any way you can sometimes. Yeah. Well, let's face it, Colorado's position is not one that they're enjoying, and there is another sack. Lots of pressure here. Hanson being chased from behind. Strip sack, and Hanson got it back. He got it back, but coming from absolutely nowhere in his world was Mike Sellers. Out of the back row. They switched that. It was a gain of eight, four, and 12. Hanson in trouble. He's got to get rid of the football. Three Warrior defenders put him down. Zach Bash lived up to his name. That'll do it. Hawaii and Greg McMacken pick up the win at home. Wild second half in this game, but it ends up being the same kind of lead that Hawaii had at halftime, 17. A final score tonight, Hawaii 34 and Colorado 17.